Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors, your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks, and welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. I'm so glad that you're here, and happy Thanksgiving to you and all your family. I hope you have a glorious day today, enjoying all the food and the festivities we all are going to have, and I'm excited about it myself. But it's got our weather, so we know what we're going to look at today. It's going to be brought to us by Haney Technical Center. It's going to be up to 73 degrees, so it's just a perfect day, low of 58, and a water temperature state of 70 degrees all week long. So it's in good shape there. Uh, let's look at our river readings brought to us by Watson's Land and Marina and Dry Storage. We're looking at 11.1 on Apalachicola and a slow drop on it. And the Choctahatchee is going to have a right at 9.2 and again continues a slow drop on it. So that, that's a good job on the rivers. Uh, really nice, easy drop on them and falling out a little bit. Be good catfishing this weekend if you want to do some of that. A marine forecast, uh, let's look at the tide chart first. The tide chart brought to us by Kent Forest Lawn Funeral Home and Cemetery. We mentioned this yesterday. Really strong tides throughout the weekend. We're looking at a tide, uh, the, the uh, tide really, we're looking at, let me see, a low tide at 727 uh, this morning, 730, and a high tide at 930 tonight. So really good two foot tides, uh, and we're in good shape on some really good moving tides right there. Uh, the river uh, region I just gave you, but the marine forecast is east northeast at 10 to 15. We, that's been a prevailing wind now, last three or four days, east northeast. And we're in good shape on that. So uh, that takes care of all, all of our weather. And let's go ahead and take our break. We'll be right back. Ah, welcome back. Hope you're having a good morning already. I just just ran across this note. I'm gonna get. Remember, I, on Monday, on Tuesday show, I had the. I ran into the guy, the father and son, at a boat ramp, and we talked about. Uh, he's been uh, coming over to St. Vincent from Gainesville, and I got to talk to him afterward. And we talked about blue. What he does, he studies blueberry bushes over at the University of Florida. So well versed in it. And I asked him, so what are some varieties that I can tell my viewers to plant up here? And boy, he spit, he spit out about four of them just like that. So I'm gonna give them to you. If you're interested in blueberries, uh, uh, blueberries are awesome and uh, they're healthy for you. So, okay, he gave me, uh, here's one of them called a Georgia, a Georgia rabbit eye. That's one, uh, and another one called a Tift blue. And the third one's called a powder blue. Those are North Carolina varieties he was telling me, but they adapt well down here. And the last one was a uh, bright whale. That's a Georgia variety. So uh, one more time, a Georgia rabbit eye, a tiff blue, powder blue, and a bright whale uh, from Georgia. Anyway, just want to pass that on to you, passing on all the information. And <clears throat> outdoorsmen love, uh, love blueberries. Uh, real quick, <clears throat> I want to get into a Christmas uh, wish li uh, list. You know, tomorrow, <clears throat> tomorrow is Black Friday. A lot of folks will be out. Well, not, not myself or Jeff not going to be out, but uh, a lot of y'all going to be out. Uh, and I, here's for the outdoorsmen. I, a lot of times I have pictures and all. I just made the list. I just uh, wrote it down last night. It didn't take long to do it because uh, it's not hard to buy for outdoorsmen. So let me, let's get on it. Uh, 20, I actually have 21 things we're going to talk about. And I'm, I'm not going to show you pictures. I'm going to uh, go through them pretty fast. Uh, and there's no, no particular order. Uh, a cast net. I always mention buying a cast net for outdoorsmen. It could be a bait cast net or a handmade mullet cast net. I talk about that every year. A wonderful present. Number two, uh, game cameras. Uh, Ronnie and uh, different people talk about game cameras. They advance them every year and they're not that expensive. Most of these, I'm telling you, are under $100, okay? Almost all of these are. Uh, number three, binoculars. Binoculars are still, you know, they're still in style. They're still very, very uh, much needed and, and used by outdoorsmen, especially in tree stands and all. I don't care what a scope can do, but binoculars can do it better. Number four, pistol, small pistol, okay? Uh, just something you carry and, and it seems like bad things happen more and more these days. So uh, you, we, we need to be armed. You need to have your concealed weapon permit and, uh, and carry some heat. And I believe in that. Number five, a ground blind. A ground blind, uh, they're, they're like $79 and they're comfortable. You can put two chairs inside of them. You're sitting on the ground. They're safe. Uh, you can move around and deer can't see. I, I love it. I've got a little ground blind. I love it. So think about a ground blind to buy for the outdoorsman. Uh, number six, uh, new hunting boots. Hunting boots are really, hunting boots are special. They, uh, they're, I know we all have old boots we like, but these new hunting boots are new material, new design, and better waterproofing. Uh, think about that. Number seven, rifle scope. 
Number eight are, are in archery, a, a bow, a, a bow, uh, just all different sizes of bows, all different levels of bows for different people that can shoot at different levels. Number nine, a pocket knife. Uh, you can get a, a, a bowie knife or a po you know, pocket knife to a bowie knife. Just a outdoor, outdoorsman loves knives. Number 10, uh, a customized rod. Get, to, get a rod made. Uh, there's some rod makers around here. Uh, Ernie Cab is a good rod maker. Uh, you put different colors in it, say your favorite football team or your favorite outdoor color. A customized rod, that lasts a lifetime. Uh, let's move on down here. A new reel, number 12, a smoker, a good grill, a good smoker. Uh, number 13, a game and fish cleaning table. They're, they're less than $100 now. You know, made out of really good material, they're good size, and got a little sink in them, and you can clean game on them, you can wash fish, uh, wash them off, and clean fish on them. So those tables come out of something fairly new and uh, very comfortable. Number 14, uh, of course, a food dehydrator for, the, for your venison. Uh, 15, uh, a vest, uh, a hunting vest or a, or a fishing vest. A vest are, are really comfortable. You got those free arms and all, and a lot of times we overlook a vest. Number 16, a weather station. They're even more modern now than they were five years ago. Uh, those weather stations are just uh, important. I know we have it on our phone and all. The weather stations are better than those apps on the phone. Number 17, a uh, rod rack, one, uh, one for the ceiling in the garage, or one wall rod rack. Good present there, 18 tackle box, always count on new tackle box. Uh, 19, a handheld GPS unit, uh, they're, they're nice. Uh, and they're, again, they're more, uh, more uh, 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 better now because of the uh, technology. Number 20, uh, one of the hottest selling things, I remember I predicted this three or four years ago, drone, when they first came out. Uh, and they got them down to price range, uh, you can get them less than $100, some of them. So, Drones are going to be, that's going to be the hottest gifts, uh, and I bet they're going to be selling out of drones. And uh, Jeff brought this up, number 21, waterproof socks. Uh, that uh, well, Brad had them down the other day, and uh, waterproof socks would be something really good, okay? Good stuff there. Let's take a break, and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Glad you're with us this morning. Got a big uh, big day lined up for everybody. I know you're all excited. I am, and uh, I'm getting hungry already. I'm trying to skip breakfast. But anyway, let's get ready for our Thanksgiving, our thankful Thanksgiving video. I started this uh, years ago on the show, and just go around asking people what they're thankful for. And uh, I'm, it's going to be a little bit heavy on the student side because I'm around students all day, and it's only people I work with. But I'm thinking uh, this year I'm doing a lot of last time doing this, last time doing that. So this will be the last time I'll do a a video with a lot of students being thankful, but it always, always been heartwarming. I, I do it in class. Uh, 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 all, all my class, I go around the classroom, and everybody talk, talks about what they're thankful of. It's heartwarming what they're talking about because by the time they're seniors, they're, they really are beginning to stop and look back and uh, being thankful for a lot of things they may be taking for granted as a younger person. So this is a little bit heavy on the student side, but I, I love doing this, and I hope, hope you enjoy about a little 10-minute video of all kinds of different uh, uh, people that I'm around usually in, a, in the course of a day or a week. Okay, so Jeff, let's roll this. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Wall, and this Thanksgiving I'm very thankful to have been uh, growing up where I have and being able to develop relationships with my family and friends. And just this is the last Thanksgiving I'm spending here, so I'm thankful to have had this experience before I go off to college. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sylvia. I was asked what I am thankful for, and there's so many things that come to mind, it's hard to know where to start, because God is good. But I am very thankful for Fusion Fitness Center, where I work, uh, mostly because God's hard at work here, and we just had a big food truck um, event yesterday, gave away a lot of food, and God just showed His grace in many ways. So I guess I'm mostly thankful for God. For sure, I pray that we pray for uh, Maddie's grandmother, as she's going through cancer. <clears throat> I pray that you'll give her the strength to overcome this disease. That you'll just be with her and help her to show her about her faith in the Lord. I pray that you'll touch her in your life. I'm Natty and I'm thankful for my health and my family. Okay. Oh, I'm Catherine and I'm thankful for my family and food. Family and food. Yes. Okay. I'm Blake. I'm thankful for my friends and family. Okay. I'm Nathaniel, and I'm thankful for Coach Chester and my grandparents. <laughs> okay. I'm Diego, and I'm thankful for having a roof over my head and food on my plate. All right. I'm Brent, and I'm thankful for my family and friends. I'm Bryson, 
thankful for the people, for all my family and the people around me. I'm Jane, I'm thankful for Coach Chester and my family. <laughs> wow, great job. I am Coach Brian Daniels, and I am thankful for my family. I'm thankful for help. I got a seven-month-old little boy that I get to come home to, and he's all smiles. He's like a little puppy dog when he sees me. And uh, he smiles, and he's, uh, and, and he's ready to see his daddy every morning. His name's Judah. And then I have a four-year-old and a seven-year-old, too, Gideon and Josiah, that, I'm, that, that are equally uh, are, are at that age of, of, of innocence. So I'm just thankful for that. I thank God for that, and, I, and hopefully I can continue to just pour my life into those three little boys that, that they, could, they could grow up to be thankful men who know Jesus and who also care for their family. So I'm thankful. My name is Drew, and I'm thankful for my family and God. <laughs> and softball and friends and everyone else, everything else. Hello, my name is Kyle Hudson and I'm thankful for my teachers here at school. They really played a big influence on all of us kids at home and I'm also thankful for my parents who have played a good influence in my Christian walk and I'm thankful for God most of all and uh, the way he works in my life. Thank you. Hi, I'm Chelsea Harville and I'm going to tell what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for a lot of things, but mostly I'm thankful for God's love and the opportunity I've had to be in Coach Chester's class this year. He's taught, us a lot, he's taught us a lot of things and things that we can use in the future and that's what I'm thankful for. Hello, my name is Jill Chester and I'm thankful today for my family, thankful for my husband and my healthy children. And I'm thankful for my extended family who loves us and supports us and um, just so many other things I could say. I'm thankful for a job, for a home um, that's filled with love, and um, that's what I'm thankful for today. I'm thankful for America and the freedoms that we are blessed with. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm thankful for forgiveness and my family. I'm thankful for how um, I can live in a place that's awesome, like Florida. Even though it's really hot. <laughs> but it's getting cold now. I'm thankful for my family, forgiveness, and the ability to worship the God that I choose. I'm thankful for my health and my friends and family. And Coach Chester! I was going to say that. Uh, thankful for family, friends, and fishing here in Florida. <laughs> I'm thankful for my family, my friends, and all the opportunities I get. All right, boys. I'm thankful for the cheesecake I'm going to eat over the break. <laughs> I'm thankful for the house that I live under and the family that I have. All right. I'm thankful for the friends and family I have. All right. Who are the girls? Friends. Friends. I'm thankful for my friends and my family and my cats. Okay, who have been on? Yes. Beach. All right, go over here. I'm thankful for coffee. Oh. Yeah. Amen. Um, I'm thankful for my family and my church. Okay. I'm thankful for my friends and family. I'm thankful for everything that I have and my friends and family. Just everything. <laughs> I'm thankful for books. I love books. Okay. You what? My books. <laughs> That's it. That's what I'm, I okay. love. My books. Okay. I'm gonna back up and see. All right, Rachel. Um, I'm thankful for my friends and my family. I'm thankful for my friends and my family and my kitty cats. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Athena Smith, and I'm thankful for this Thanksgiving is Brett Fisher giving my uncle and my father a chance to have better vision and honoring them for being first responders, and they're both identical twins, so they're both getting free LASIK eye surgery, and I'm also thankful for my family this year. My name is Hope, and I'm thankful for my dad and his health and how he doesn't have cancer anymore and that he's finally better than how he was a year ago. My name is Joshua Haymaker. Um, I'm thankful for a lot of things, but most of all, I'm thankful for uh, the fight that God gave me. Uh, life has never been easy for anybody, so I'm glad that God gave me the right to fight, and I'm glad that he gave me family to support me. Hi, I'm Ebony, and I'm thankful for my mom because she's always very supportive of whatever I do and always keeps a positive attitude. I'm Scott. I'm Alyssa. And, and we, we are, are thankful, thankful for, for outdoor ed. Outdoor ed, yes, yes. and how and life Coach is Chester. awesome. And yes. Great. Cool. Life is great. <laughs> hey, my name is Cole, and I'm just thankful for all the friends and family that I get to spend time with this Thanksgiving, and also for the teachers at Mosley for making my senior year so wonderful. Cool. Hi, I'm Brianna Pinkard, and I'm grateful for uh, my family and friends and God giving me the ability to wake up every morning. Hey, I'm Colton Wall. Uh, I'm grateful for First God for blessing me every day with uh, things that not everybody's blessed with. 
Uh, I'm also thankful for my uh, my parents, my mom and dad. They're the best to me. They teach me every day, and uh, thankful for my awesome friends. I love them to death, and I'm blessed to wake up every single day and live in this world. So, thank you. Hi, I'm Kinley Adams, and. Oh, 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 you're gonna, she's gonna say the whole thing. Do you want me to say the whole thing? I thought we were gonna do names and then you go and then I go. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, names? Ready? Well, which one are we doing? Names, names. All right, all right. Okay, ready? Hi, I'm Kinley Adams. And I'm Nick Gentilly. And I'm thankful for the three F's faith, family, and friends. I'm thankful for uh, God uh, allowing me to be an FCA leader this year and my family. I'm Ezra Gray, this uh, Javon Williams old girl, and uh, I'm thankful for uh, God, my family and friends, and number one class in America, shout out to Coach Chester, great man, that's it. Hi, I'm Summer Lowe, and I'm thankful for God, family, and friends. Hi, I'm Naya. Hi, I'm Kelsey. I'm Sammy. I'm thankful for my family, my friends, and my basketball team. I'm thankful for my family and friends. I'm thankful for my dog in this country. Hi, I'm Cadet Sergeant Major Garcia. I'd like to thank all the veterans out there for everything and help protect us and everything for the country. Okay. I'm David Kelly. I'm Cody Carpenter. And I'm Michael McLean. I'm thankful for the military, my family, my school, and to be in your class, Coach Chester. I, um,. I'm thankful for my musical abilities to be able to go to church every Sunday and to go to school, get an education. I'm thankful for our military, uh, for being able to have the opportunity to hunt and fish and to be able to come to Outdoor Ed every day. Hello, I'm Marcus Coward, Assistant Principal of Guidance Mosley High School. I am thankful for my family, my friends, and my ability to wake up every morning and come to work here at this great institution of Mosley High School. Hi, I'm J.C. Capes. I'm an administrator here at Mosley High School. I'm thankful for my wife, Dawn, and my daughter, Abby, and I'm thankful to live in Bay County, the greatest place on earth. Happy Thanksgiving. Hi, I'm Danny Nagy. I coach over at Mosley High School. Thankful for my family, for good health, and the good Lord above for giving us uh, every day we got. I'm Sandy Harrison, principal at Mosley High School. I am thankful, first of all, for my good health, and I'm thankful for my family, my husband and children and grandchildren and their wonderful wives. I'm really thankful for Mosley, the staff and students and faculty. They're all wonderful. I'm a thankful girl. Hi, I'm Crystal Bullock and I teach 10th grade honors English and dual enrolled public speaking here at Mosley High School. And I am most thankful for my family, my husband, and my two children, six and four. And most importantly, I'm thankful for God and the love that he has for me all year long. Hey, I'm Natalie Martin. Um, this Thanksgiving, I'm thankful for my friends and family and being able to spend Thanksgiving break with them. My name is Matt Teplachek, and I'm thankful for my family, Jessica, my daughter, Caitlin, and my son, Caleb. Hey, I'm Chip Chester. Today, I'm most grateful for my relationship with Jesus Christ. And in that, um, I can be the husband and the, the daddy and the son and the, uh, the man he's called me to be today. Welcome back. Hope you enjoy that. That's real people doing real things, and I just uh, really enjoy doing that every year. So uh, we'll continue to do it probably next year. I'll be around probably some, I'll be around more older people than the young people next Thanksgiving, but we'll we'll carry on. So let's take a look at our fishing game time today. Brought to us by Mark Coward of Counts Real Estate. On a one time, I'm, I laugh at it because it's 1219 or 219. I think the deer and everything's going to be safe in the woods. There's not going to be many people out that time of day, but that is our, that is our time for today. Now. Getting ready for Thanksgiving, of course, is always a, a special time. I know I've mentioned it a couple times already how we're all preparing for it. I always uh, love smoking a turkey on, on Thanksgiving and all kinds of different things. And I, I, I marvel at how so many families and friends get together across America. It's just a special time. This year will be special to us, of course. Uh, this, this will be my first Thanksgiving ever without my mom. And I, I go back to so many fond memories of uh, growing up and, and Thanksgiving is such a big deal with my family as a kid. and then. And it's fascinating how the dynamics of a, a family change as, as, as we age. And like I say, when you're a kid, you're around your, your parents and aunts and uncles and grandparents. And then as you get older and teenager and 
young person and you marry and start having kids, the, the sort of the dynamics change. You get a spouse and you start spending time some some part of Thanksgiving. A lot of us are, are trapped. I was telling Jeff, we tra trapped into in those days. And Jeff, same way, you got to have a Thanksgiving lunch and then have a Thanksgiving supper or dinner later. So we, uh, a lot of times, we for many years, I had to eat two Thanksgiving <laughs> meals. But uh, and even and then that, as they, as our grandparents pass away and uh, and our parents uh, pass away, then we we become uh, we, we we for instance that we're traveling to Enterprise Alabama for our Thanksgiving. It's our niece and her husband, who's a, a retired Army Air Army uh, helicopter pilot, Black Hawk pilot. I mentioned him before, but uh, that's on Gail's side of the family, and then on, on my side of the family, we'll usually do Christmas. So all of y'all have different dynamics and all, but it's we all we all sort of uh, do a lot of the same things. We we'll go around the room and talk about the thankfulness and. Uh, and of course, I'm going to be thankful of all the years I did have with my mother and, and, and my dad and my brother and all those times. We had just a wonderful Thanksgiving and how thankful I am now. Although my whole family won't be here, uh, half my family will be here. Wendy and uh, Walter won't be with us. And uh, But it's still, you know, it's still thankful times. And we have a lot to be thankful for as, as a family and a lot to be thankful for here, here in America. And uh, I know uh, it, the world is at, it's not at peace, and, and we want to always uh, pray for peace. We pray for, always pray for the leadership of our country, that we, that we get aimed in the right direction. Always pray for each other, for our safety and all that. And, but uh, today is a day of giving thanks. Uh, as Americans, we have a lot to be proud of, and even here at home and all. I, I'm always thankful of, of, of so many things, and I, you know, the faith in the family and those things we talk about a lot. But a lot of times we don't t talk about the... The, the beautiful outdoors that uh, God has uh, enriched our lives with, and I, I'm so thankful for it. And uh, we wouldn't be here this morning if it wouldn't be for that kind of uh, uh, things that happen in our lives. So, so many good things, and uh, I'm thankful, you know, the, the job I've had in, in my life to, to teach young people and be around them. I'm just I'm very thankful. But my, my family, and, and, and uh, they just mean the world to me. And, and I want to thank you viewers. I do that every day and all, but from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate the viewership we have here in Panhandle Outdoors, the, the feedback we get, and y'all are just wonderful people. And I hope today you have an amazing day with your family, uh, with your friends, and don't eat too much. But anyway, go ahead and set those scales back 10 pounds this morning. All right. Y'all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Be around some good friends and do something good for your family. And uh, y'all, we'll see y'all tomorrow morning, and uh, you have a great day, and God bless. Thanks for joining us for Panhandle On Tours with Winston Chester. Panhandle On Tours features hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle On Tours.